Welcome back everybody, Crazy Spartan here yet again, and today I want to talk about what I want for Halo 6. My top five needs or wants for Halo 6, what I think we should have, and, um, and we're going to go from there. Now we haven't heard anything for news for Halo 6, um, other than kind of like some general statements uh, from some people. Uh, I think Bonnie Ross says uh, the future Halo titles are going to have split screen, which honestly... Honestly, it, that, it, should that even have been like a thing? Uh, split screen should have been there. Split screen should have been there in Halo 5. Yeah, the 60 FPS per second is uh, is beautiful. It is great. But, man, when you want to show off a, a Halo game to your friends, man, you, you have friends come over, you want to play Halo, you can't play Halo 5. There's no split screen unless he, by some chance, brought a TV and an Xbox One. Unless you got both, you know, I don't know, you might have both. And then you can play Halo 5. I don't know. But if you had split screen, it be, wouldn't even be an issue. You just uh, jump on and, and you play. Simple. But I don't know. Other than like simple statements like that, a little every now and then, uh, there has been nothing. There has been absolutely nothing for Halo 6. Um, which is kind of odd. We haven't even had a trailer uh, this year, and that kind of makes me a little bit hopeful uh, in some aspects, but we're going to go and get into that in a little bit. All right. In my order, um, I'm going to go with this. Number five. I want a good story slash campaign. I want good uh, um, level of design, etc., uh, in that aspect, but I want a really good story. And then by that, I mean, I want a story I can understand. If I did not read or any uh, go and play any other Halo game ever, I want to be able to pick up Halo 6, play the campaign, and understand what's going on without question. Halo 5 is so confusing, and Halo 4 was just as bad uh, in that aspect. You did not understand quite a bit unless you went to outside media. Which is kind of sad, kind of shameful. Uh, <laughs> who's going to know what the didact is? Who's going to know? I mean, he's just some some guy that was in a cryptum. Nobody knows. And then they they, they kill him off screen. They uh, I, I I never read the comics, but it was just um, I believe they ended his his character in a comic book, um, which unless unless you are there unless you get the comics you go to that extra media source you're not going to know that you're not going to know that and that's what halo 6 needs the game has to be from beginning from to end uh, you're going to have to be able to understand it as stand alone you don't need to go to outside sources now other outside sources might enhance it in some way shape or form but it needs to stand alone and he's be able to be understood from beginning to end for somebody just picking up Halo 6 and they have no idea what this Halo thing is about. That is a must. That is a huge thing for me. But so that's my number five. Good, strong story campaign and level design for the campaign. All right, number four. Number four, I want a fully developed multiplayer fully developed not something kind of half-assed uh, we have certain things here certain things there we're going to get infections six months down the line we're going to get forged seven months down the line we're going to get uh, oddball two years down the line i want multiplayer to be fully 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 developed this is not a question this is a must have this is a must we have to have every single game type we can think of and put into the game from day one. This needs to happen. This is a must. And by... <laughs> and you need to have a social slayer and you need to have a rank system, period. You need to have a social side and rank side. That needs to be there from day one. Now, you're not going to add CSR... 20 weeks down the line and then go oh now people are going to start caring about it no this is a day one thing you need to have this stuff in there day one uh period period uh i don't know you can kind of see where i'm kind of going with this stuff uh and multiplayer for halo 5 was kind of 
it's still kind of sad in the fact that we still don't have so much stuff. It's just so much stuff is just missing. And playlist, uh, I'm going to go into that real quick. The playlist, the rotational playlist needs to go. We need to get rid of that, period. That, that is kind of stupid. It's kind of silly. I like the idea of it, but it just doesn't work. Because um, you get online, you play a playlist. It's like, say, Shoddy Snipes was up uh, last week when we did this. I love Shoddy Snipes. I played that quite a bit. I got in there and, did, and played it. Now this week is Castle Wars. I absolutely hate Castle Wars. Castle Wars is so frustrating and it's kind of silly. Uh, I don't understand it. I, to me, it's like beating your head against a wall. You just, I have never seen a match that didn't end in a tie, personally. Uh, I'm sure it's happened. I'm sure you guys have uh, had some matches out there where you have had a victory or a loss, but for me, I've always had a tie, and it's just, eh. It, it's like, it's a pointless thing of just running at each other and sorting. We might as well have just made a sword game type and threw it in free-for-all. Eh, at least then you could have a winner. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but my point is, rotational playlists need to go. They need to go, period. Have the playlist there. Multi-team, uh, snipers, SWAT, uh, uh, Slayer uh, Arena, you know, whatever, man. The the playlists need to be there, period. Just stop that rotational stuff. Unless you want, I mean, if you want to throw in a rotational playlist, make it something crazy. Make it silly, Rockets and Rails or something like that. I don't know. Make it something you definitely would not play on a normal basis. Um, but uh, that stuff like Shoddy Snipes, that should just, just throw it in the Sniper's playlist, period. I mean, that shouldn't even be a question. Uh, in my my in my book, it, it, it just should be there. But anyways, that's my thought on that. All right, number three, we have Forge and custom games, and I want a file share. A file share, guys. Can you believe that? A file share. What is this thing called? A file share. It was actually this really neat thing. You could upload this stuff, and. It was, uh, you could tag it, you could uh, make it uh, into a little video, you could do little clips, and you, and you could share it with your friends, and uh, you, you share maps. Do you know how I find maps nowadays? Somebody just posted on Twitter, man, or something like that, because uh, there's no other way to really find maps other than somebody randomly comes across a map or, or promotes a map. Um, <laughs> It's pretty sad. Or yeah, I think you got to go to Forge Hub or something like that. Just you have to go to outside sources to find this stuff. Um, let's say I wanted to make some clips or make a little montage or something, and I just want like just only Killtaculars or uh, I want Warthog uh, funny fails or something like that. I just want to make a funny montage. You know how I find clips? I can't. I can't find clips. Uh, I have to either post something or is like anybody got some clips uh, of warthogs being stupid or I mean seriously uh, we need a good file share system that we can tag our clips we can tag our uh, uh, maps name them describe them the whole nine yards we need a great file share system um, period uh, and forge obviously I love forge but we need to have forge kind of as it is now and the only thing I can really think of to improve it is to add uh, like skins for the pieces that, that like have water running or stuff like that or, or grass growing out of them. I don't know. It, it could be anything. Um, Forge as it is right now is amazing, but it needs to be there. It needs to be there. Um, without question, we shouldn't have to wait two months for it. All right, custom games, custom browsers, stuff like that, all that stuff that we have right now, it should be in the game uh, Halo 6 on day one, without question. And lastly in this one here, uh, my number three here is a great UI. Shh. A great UI. How hard is that? How hard is that? The UI system we have right now in Halo 6 is terrible. It is absolutely terrible. I, I mean, it's better than it was from launch it is better than it was from launch however it's still terrible you can't sell any more than one wreck at a time what genius said that was a good idea so 
like let's sell just no rack or one rack at a time and make it all dedicated server so you have to wait and you have to upload it and then you listen blah 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 it's a terrible idea ah i know just a little frustrated but that's just how i feel man the ui system in halo halo 5 is terrible so that needs to be improved you have uh, umpteen 100 friggin armor things but you can't Let's just say, like, I'm wearing a noble armor right now, and I want to look for a variant. And I have to look through this whole friggin' list. I have to look through a whole list to try to find it. It is so bad. It is so terrible. And they tried to reorganize it a little bit. I think it failed epically. Um, to, they tried to make it alphabetical or something like that at some point, but it didn't work. And I don't think they ever went back to touch up on it. Yeah, what can you do? Anyways, we need a really good UI system um, from day one. Can it be improved from day one? Absolutely, but uh, as it stands, we need something ready to go. Something that is going to be easy to use. Because it does make a difference. All right, number two. What I want for Halo 6 is earned unlocks for armor, for uh, gear, for helmets, for uh, for you name it, you name it. Uh, I want them earned. Now this random number generator thing that we got here with the rec packs, eh, it, it wouldn't have been so bad if there are certain things that you just can't get. You can't get them unless you do certain other things such as completing the campaign on Legendary. Uh, earning that lasso skull uh, achievement, um, uh, whatever uh, along those lines. Completed uh, Halo 3 on Legendary. You know, you could even go back to the past, and because I've seen that before, where they had uh, uh, even Halo Halo 5 did do that temporarily, um, where you could only lock the Skrillios uh, uh, armor set by completing the Master Chief Collection all campaigns on Legendary. Uh, then you unlock that, but then. Sure enough, it shows up in a random number generator. Are you serious? So it, it completely took away the value of it, period. Um, I remember back in Halo 3, man, when you saw you, you saw somebody with the katana and, of course, the, uh, what was that? Uh, Hayabusa, the Hayabusa armor set. You know they earned that. Or even the CQB. That was earned. I think you had to do the legendary run or something. Uh, in order to earn that that armor set you had to earn that stuff you you weren't just given it uh, the random number generator uh, the I can understand at some point you can have some of that um, if they're going to continue with this rec system which I kind of hope they don't but if they were going to continue with it um, you need to have some stuff that is earned unlocks that you cannot get any other way than earning this stuff uh, it, it makes that armor set, uh, that armor stuff that you've earned, so much more valuable, so much more proud. Then you go online, you see somebody with that, and you say, wow, that dude put in some work. I remember in Halo Reach, the, the big thing was the inclement weather um, armor effect. I remember that. I remember seeing it for the first time in matchmaking, and you're just like, oh, wow. That dude put some time in, or he actually, he didn't buy anything. He still got his recruit armor on, you know. He didn't buy absolutely anything except he was building up, building up to get that armor set, or to get that armor effect. You know he earned it, because that took a long time. And that's what Halo 6 needs. You need to have that special something that it has to be earned, and then... When, they, when you see it in line, you can see it and go, wow, that is awesome. I need to work on that. I need to get into that uh, and, and do that. Absolutely. Absolutely, that needs to happen. Um, it makes that so much more worth it than just getting it from a slot machine. Because it's just not... It's just not there. It's just, for me, I didn't enjoy the slot machine at all. But, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I'm really hoping uh, 343 has learned from that mistake, and we're going to have that because it's an integral part of Halo, in my opinion. All right, 
Last one, number one. I want everything on day one. How simple is that? I wanted a completed game on day one. I know, I know, you wouldn't even think that was a thing these days, where, but it actually kind of is. It's kind of become more and more of a thing, and it's not just Halo. It's not just Halo, it's, it's a, a lot of other games. They're forced to release uh, stuff early. Now, I'm not saying it's 3 for 3's fault by any means. I'm sure somebody said, hey, you're going to release a game. And you got to release it by this date. And that's, that's the way it is. However, what that means is that stuff isn't included. Stuff isn't there. It isn't, isn't ready. And unfortunately, it's, it's bit them in a the butt. It's bit them hard. We shouldn't have to wait for the playlist that we want. We shouldn't have to wait for Infection. Now, I'm not a big Infection player. I don't really care for it. I don't like it that much. However, I know that a lot of people do. That should be there. That should be there on day one. Without question. All the game modes. That should be there on day one. I'm talking everything. I'm talking just about everything you can think of. It should be there. I'm talking King of the Hill. I'm talking Oddball. Uh, <laughs> snipers. SWAT. Um, you know, everything. Everything you can think of from every past Halo. It should not be an issue that it shouldn't be in the game. It should be there. And man, and on top of that, you should have everything you can. All that's where it goes back to the UI, the great UI system. You should have everything there in order to adjust it and play it how you want. If I want to jump in and play like a crazy Slayer game where it's where assassinations count as five points or or uh, <laughs> betrayals count as one point, you know. Uh, if I want to make these game types, I, I want that ability to be there. I want all those settings to be there. I don't want to wait four months, five months, two years down the line because at that point, it's too late. At that point, it is too late. I want everything there on day one without question. It's that simple. It is that simple. I don't know. That's why I honestly, I've actually got a little bit of hope. And I, I don't want this to be just like a crazy, crazy Spartan rant fest because it's not. I don't want it to be that way because I love 343 and I'm going to play Halo no matter what because it's my game. I don't know what anybody else thinks about, but that is my game. I love that game. I'll play it until the end because that's just, to me, that's what I have fun. That's the game I have the most fun playing, period. And I just want it to be the best, as I'm sure you guys do as well. You want it to be the best as possible, and that's where I'm throwing this out here. And especially for content creators out there, even if you have a small YouTube channel, I definitely encourage you, throw out to your opinions. Let 343 know what you want, even if it doesn't agree with what I say, man. I mean, I'm sure you all have your own opinions and what you think should be there. But unless we have a discussion and tell 343 to think about these things, because I, I almost guarantee you there's going to be a general consensus of some point on what we want. We want a good Halo game from day one. From day one, period. Uh, but that's it. That's... That's my thoughts. Now, like I said, I'm not hating on 343. I love Halo. And I'm not hating on Microsoft or anything like that. I'm just throwing this out here as to what I would like to have for Halo 6. And I definitely encourage you guys, put your thoughts down in the opinion or down in the comments down below. If you liked the video, by all means, give it a like. Um, of course, subscribe uh, for more Halo content. I'm really trying to push this forward here, guys. Uh, the content. <laughs> As for this opinion, uh, you know, I'm just going to throw it out there. You guys think of it uh, what you will. These are just my opinions. But uh, I'm going to wrap this up, guys. I hope you enjoyed, the, enjoyed my little rant. And um, by all means, I hope it, uh, Halo 6 is going to be the best thing we have ever seen. But I'm going to wrap this up. So thanks, guys, for watching. This is the Cray Spartan. I'm out of here. Comment, like, 
and subscribe.